Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. This will be IGCSC syllabus statement 3.3.5 business studies and I think this is a new um, syllabus statement on the course. So um, we have to know these extra stuff. So let me start off with e-commerce. Define and explain the concept of e-commerce. E-commerce is basically marketing a product using the internet either through promotion or distribution and e-commerce could be also defined as buying and selling products through the internet so that's e-commerce that's the it's basically like Amazon where you buy and sell stuff online and if you think of the go back to syllabus statement 3.3.3 .3 on place they use the first distribution channel so directly from um, the producer to consumer so the opportunities and threats of e-commerce to business and consumers let me draw a small table here business and then um, consumers opportunities and threats so the opportunities of e-commerce to business is that business can gather easily business can easily gather more information about existing and potential customers another thing is business can use their internet to sell their products also business can expand into new markets more easily especially those abroad Businesses can use internet sites and social media to promote their products. And they can offer low prices because reduced cost. So costs like fixed costs, the, they will be reduced because there's no there might be less and less buildings and everything will be sold like from the producer directly to the person's house so that's the advantage of for business and, and back to the last point that I just said back to the person's house so so that um consumers can like they can shop conveniently directly from home or work much more convenient another thing is which is similar low price consumer will also benefit from low prices <clears throat> let me write um because reduce cost to make it more clear so reduce cost low price um consumers can now sh more easily shop around to find best price so they can actually compare between competitors so they can they can actually research before making decisions but an obvious disadvantage for consumers is that they 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 can't try it on first hand so if the size is wrong or they don't actually like the color or the material they have to like repack it for seven up to seven days and then uh send it back which will be a hassle and they have to order again so that's the threats instead of trying it on at a shop and there could be lots of um thefts and frauds online credit card number could get stolen Uh, that's basically the disadvantage uh, for businesses the disadvantages are that um, small local shops are losing customers 
who prefer to purchase online. Okay, so um, competitors can also easily find detail of your marketing mix. And this links to um, this one, this point right here. So if consumers can compare the like competitors prices you know which one's the best one so as a business now it's much harder to compete as consumers can now easily shop around so that's basically the opportunities and threats to business and consumers so the use of internet and social network for promotion so we have two different types of examples here and one of them is like social media sites like Facebook or Twitter and the other type is your own site so if you have like if you own burger so like abcburgers.com that's your own site so social medias so an advantage of social media it, of advertising I mean um, promoting or distributing online this is this mainly affects um, promotion um, it guarantees target consumer so on Facebook if you if an ad appears that might not guarantee but um, some companies may pay Facebook that they must click on the ad so that so then that will like keep track of the count of how many people clicked on the ad and that would guarantee real people um, guarantee target consumers so that's number one number two is that it targets specific group so they can pay Facebook or Twitter to let's say they want to target teenagers uh, age 13 to 19 so they will target those people and they will pop up on your news feed so a disadvantage of this is lack of control of course from not only your one but I mean as if you have Facebook you will also find it annoying that they will pop up all the time and you just close them right away so that's the uh, disadvantage so a positive of your own site like abcburgers.com no extra cost and you can also change quickly if needed so if you have a suddenly have like a promotion buy one get one free you can um use your own website as a uh, distrib uh, I mean uh, a site where consumers know more about your product and once they will go on they will know oh it's buy one get one free so it will be much more quick quickly and they'll find out much more quick quicker so that's the advantage A disadvantage <laughs> a disadvantage is that um, they may not see the site so like on Google if you type in burgers like your competitors might um, appear in front of you so you don't normally search the second page as a, a customer you just look at the first page and you scroll down if you don't see it you find just click on the best one so they may not see the site which link to uh, Google second page or more and lastly um, the cost of designing the website is pretty high Okay, that's basically it. That's a user of internet and social network for promotion.